One of my family style favorite weeknight dinners are burrito bowls. I usually always have the staples on hand to make these. I love switching out the protein each week to keep things exciting. Tonight we are doing chicken burrito bowls. They're fast, they're easy, and fun for the whole family. You're gonna love them. Let me show you guys how we make them here at our house. When it comes to making these burrito bowls for a dinner, we love them because each of us get to customize them with anything that I lay out for people to pick from and the kids just can't get enough of them. We also call these Buddha bowls. So whether we're making them in a Mexi theme Buddha bowl night like tonight, our burrito bowls, or we switch it out and make them Asian inspired Buddha bowls or even our Italian Buddha bowl night. It's fun to get the kids involved with either trying new ingredients that you add to your spread while I get to use up any and all of the ingredients that need to be used up in the pantry or fridge. Tonight we start with chicken for these Buddha bowls. I had a family pack of chicken breasts that I bought. Three we'll use for tonight and three we'll use on another night this week. We'll start by dicing our chicken breast up into bite-sized pieces. I love to pre-dice our chicken. That way, when we are searing on the Blackstone, each and every single bite gets a nice sear on each side of these little bite-sized pieces of chicken. Let's preheat our Blackstone to medium-high heat. I'm gonna be cooking our chicken in a little oil with some onions that I already diced up, and that will go into some front terras chicken taco skillet sauce. Now I've showed you guys these little sauce packets that I swear by. I love these for chicken taco night or chicken burrito bowl night. They really add so much flavor and just that good sauciness to our chicken. I'll also be griddling up some corn and butter and garlic and I have some ready rice and to be a little healthy some ready quinoa blend. And these packets are perfect for any quick meal. Our blackstone is hot, so let's drop down some oil, our onions, give it a toss, and then add our chicken. Toss everything to coat in the oil. Our chicken is going to absorb that onion flavor. I like to season all of this with the blackstone carne asada seasoning. Give it a toss and let this cook until each side of our chicken is nice and golden brown seared. Then we'll add our Frontera sauce packet, turning down the zone for our chicken to low and let this chicken hang out in our sauce just to soak up all of that flavor and goodness. And now we all know the best part about cooking on the Blackstone is that we can get so much done at once. So we'll melt some butter, add our frozen corn, which you can easily add some fresh corn, which is obviously my preferred method, especially come summer, but for a quick night when I don't want to run to the grocery store, frozen corn will do. I'll add a little bit or a lot of some fresh chopped garlic because you all know I love fresh garlic. We'll slide this aside and turn all of our burners now down to low and then drop down our ready rice and ready quinoa blend. Break all of that up and let this just heat through. And that's it, dinner's ready. I'll add our corn and our chicken to our spread, which includes some plain old sour cream that I'm gonna zhuzh up with a little Blackstone carne asada, some fresh squeezed lime juice, give it a mix and slice up one of our family favorites, which I always have to have on hand in the house because everyone fights over them, our avocado. I also have some salsa, limes, queso fresca cheese, my absolute favorite, Cholula chili garlic hot sauce, which is so delicious on so many things. Shredded lettuce, cilantro, jalapenos, and some black beans. Now these are just canned Goya black beans. You can either drain them, rinse them, and serve them just like this, or sometimes I will griddle them the same way I do the corn, or even add them to the corn. I've got my cute little burrito bowls, which I have to say, I really do love picking up different kinds of serving bowls or dishes. One for each person in the family really helps to inspire with different ideas for fun cooks off the Blackstone. 
having these burrito bowls really pushes me to remember to make a different kind of Buddha bowl during the weeknight. For me, I love adding everything that I laid out onto my burrito bowl and I love watching my kids having fun, customizing and creating their own bowls, pushing them to try everything, especially the beans that I put out for them. Now my son knows how it's done, how we do things. A post dust is always a must with the Blackstone carne asada. And I love that he also loves the Cholula chili garlic sauce. This just takes it over the top. I love mixing everything together. A little squeeze of lime over mine and then it's ready to dig in while my son just has fun sucking on these limes and being goofy and that's it now it's time for you guys to go make these at home you know the deal post pictures and videos of you and your family enjoying these just as much as me and my family do I cannot wait to see be sure to tag Blackstone products tag Blackstone Betty don't forget to shop griddlenation.com where you can find apparel and stickers to add to your outdoor Blackstone cooking spot. Be sure to hop over to the Blackstone YouTube channel and subscribe. Click that bell so that you don't miss any of these recipes that we are throwing down for you guys every week. We just love reading all of the comments. Until next time, I'm Blackstone Betty and I cannot wait to see you guys enjoying this one as much as I do.